Righty, hey guys. Here we have it. The June stretch tent. Pretty hardy, good bag. I've had it on my back of my bike when we went away. Well, Lex, Lexi's in the way again. Um, on the back of the bike when we go away uh, for the club, club rides and stuff. It's um, pretty hardy. So what you got inside is you got your fly. You go over the top. Look at. And you've got your actual unit itself. It all comes inside the bag. You've got your pegs and your poles for your awnings. So what I'll do is I'll set it up over here. Look out, Lex. Come on, move. So basically you're folding it out. Self-explanatory, all the legs go out and fold into place. You turn it over. And push down on it, make sure she's sturdy, the legs are in place. Right, so that's your feet end, that's your head end. So with the, with the actual fly, you've got a, the feet end, which is that end, which is smaller, and you've got the head end at the other end. When you're putting it all together, make sure you've got your zippers all undone, otherwise it, uh, you'll find it pretty hard to find the locating lugs inside. So inside you've got two locators for each side of the, the actual tank. So this is the head end. Typical wind picks up when you want it, don't want it to. So you pull both sides in. Go to the other end. Same again. To locate lugs for your poles straight over the top. At this stage, what I'd normally do, you've got two straps that help you pull it down. The other side. And then this end, you got your same again, you got your two straps. Guide ropes either side. So you hold them both down, pull them up until they click into place. There's that one. And again, that one. Over here, you've got your straps that I'm talking about little hooks go into the silver bits the locators the side pull it down and there you go that's set up already so what you can do for your comfort and everything I'll just move it back a bit as, as I said pretty light holds 150 kilos so inside you've even got a little vent for your feet I'll show you what you've got to do in the rain, otherwise you might get a little bit wet. So you've got your guide poles, guide ropes. Set these up. Pretty quick, pretty easy. As I said, I've had it on the back of the bike. Undo those ones. So with these, obviously, are brand new. Go through. Put put a loop on it. Then pull them down. Hang in the ground. Loop it around.
Bingo. Go to the other side. Same again. Quick pole up. The looping at it. All done. Happy days. Egg in the ground. Pull it through. Same again. Pull it tight. Yeah, dogs are going in the background. So there you have it. Done. Ready to rock and roll. So as I was saying, over the back. You've got your two guides here for when you're actually doing the, the foot of it you've got to pull it down tight i'll take a photo of it properly because this helps with the run off the water otherwise it pulls in the bottom of the up the top up here and then when she pulls it it can soak through but I haven't had any dramas just yet with it all. As I said, just peg in the ground. And tighten her up. Might have to move that out a bit further. So that's it, it's uh, the stretcher tent. So you've got your fly inside, you zip it open, you're off the ground, nice weight, nice and uh, smooth inside, nice and comfortable. You like it, don't you? Yeah, so you've got the gap in between the fly and the, the actual tent itself, so moisture doesn't actually touch the top, and you can stay pretty dry. So, as I said, I've used it a couple of times. You can put your pegs down further if you want to hold them out. And you've got your fly here, uh, sorry, your annex here, awning there, and awning on the other side. So you can open it right up to let the, the breeze go through. So there you have it. The pros and cons. Pros, you're off the ground, pretty warm. Um, easy to set up, as I said, I've had it on the back of the bike. Doesn't take up much room. Doesn't take much room to uh, set up either so you don't need a big area um, 150 kilos so I've actually had my bags and, and stuff inside to stay dry put underneath as I said you can put stuff underneath as well um, the cons as I said if you don't put that the V at your feet the water will actually pool inside it on top of your fly so then if you touch it or anything like that the standard fly as they leak but there you have it the uh, dune st stretch tent um, yeah uh, anaconda's got it I think they're 200 bucks at the moment at anaconda but um, but yeah no nah, it's all good happy travels